yourself, Lord, I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I thank you, Jesus. I give you all adoration. Dependable God, reliable God, I thank you. I exalt your name, thou most high. The unfailing God, the dependable God, the reliable God. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, ancient of days. Be thou magnified. Be thou glorified. We are grateful to you. We are grateful to you. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Asian of days. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. My prayer is that after this session, every hidden and mysterious attacker will come under attack. Whatever form of evil dream the enemy has been using against you, today the plan will backfire. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Put your hands together for Jesus and please take your seat. War against secrets and attackers through dreams. Every kingdom operates by a mystery. And that is why if you lack spiritual understanding of this kingdom mystery, you remain in misery. It is impossible for anyone to rule, to dominate, to break through, to sustain growth, the flow of blessing without an understanding of the knowledge of the mystery of this kingdom. Jesus said it is given to you to know the mystery of the kingdom. The strength of your Christianity, my Christianity, is determined by the understanding of kingdom mysteries. Kingdom mysteries. And when you lack an understanding of it, Satan will cheat on you year by year. Paul said something in Ephesians chapter 3. He said, according to the knowledge of my mystery, my, my, Nami discoverer, according to the knowledge of my mystery in Christ. So lack of understanding of kingdom mystery is an undoing to your destiny. Why? The devil himself, himself operates in mysteries. Operates in mysteries. And one of the mysteries that have been baffling some people without proper understanding is the mystery of dreams. In Job 33 and verse 15, Job 33 and verse 15, okay. He said, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon man in slumbering upon the bed, look at the next verse now, then he opened the ear of man and sealed, and sealed their instruction the next verse, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. The next verse, he keepeth back his soul from the pits and his life from perishing by the sword. So your dream can be an indicator to your battles. Your dream can be an, a pointer to the manipulation surrounding your life. 
Your dream can be a spiritual sensor that shows you what is taking place. A transaction is already going on. Jesus said, why men slept the enemy so tars? Before I became a pastor, I was a brother. I slept, and God just took me to the straight to the village. And he showed me where they buried a pot. If they tell you that a pot is there, you can even give me a slap. He showed me, in fact, the carpet grass is so neat for anyone to detect that a pot is buried there. So when I woke up, I called my dad and said, you people should go to the village. Then I was in Kaduna. People should go to the village. See that window in the parlor. The first window, not the other one, the first one. Tear that carpet grass. You will dig out a pot. He laughed. He said, what do you mean? I said, I'm just telling you what I saw. So they went. So when they arrived, they opened it. At first, it looks as if they didn't see. I said, they come, they say, they didn't see anything, you know. I said, no, you have removed the grass. He said, yes. I said, dig. They dug and brought the pot out. Inside the pot was a decayed shell of egg with four, six inches nail and with a twine. So I said, just bring it for me. Whoever send it, I must send it to his generation. As I must give back to his generation what he has enchanted. Hear me? In this prayer, it's time to fire back. Amazingly, when they were digging the pot, everybody took off. Now some will pretend they didn't know. Or maybe it, every walk of darkness is done in hiding. It's done in a closet. But you know, God is a humorous God. Even in this church, if Satan has prepared anyone to be used to attack you, God has a way of revealing it. I'm the one talking. The works of darkness are done in secret. They are done in hiding. If you have not grown to the point of spiritual perception where you can perceive in the spirit, I can perceive an evil man. I can perceive when someone has been delegated by wickedness around me. I also prepare for you. I've grown to that level by the grace of God. Some God will just carry me. See what they are planning. See what they are doing. If you are insensitive, even some people have explained their dreams away. Anytime God shows you something, it's a sign that a transaction has taken place. But scripture say, surely they shall gather, but not by me. Anyone that gather against you shall do what? Fall. He said, take cancer together and be broken in pieces. He said, devise a strategy. It shall not stand. For God is with us. Many have been destroyed, shall changed, manipulated. Because they call their enemy friends and their friends enemies. I've always said this, I will re echo it again. Bless you has never confused me. Somebody can be saying, Bless you, but it's the Judas that have been programmed to sell you. Didn't Judas love his master?
you call your enemy friends, he will be smiling with you and tell you, my case is different. But my prayer this night, whether in the physical or in the spiritual, something must happen to you. Anyone Satan has delegated against your life, against your destiny, the God whom I stand to represent this night will expose them in the name of Jesus. Many people's attack comes through people they least expected. Comes through people they cannot suspect. What's the enemy disguise is where what, what we call spiritual camouflage. They hide their identity and use somebody else's identity to launch the attack. But hear me, both the person they used and the person that was sent, they will come under attack tonight. Possibly be sober, be vigilant for your adversary, the devil. goes about like a roaring lion. So if you are ignorant of the devices of the enemy, you become a perpetual victim. The devil is a specialist in masquerading. You know, masquerade wear a mask that sheds the original face. He operates like a chameleon. They hide their identity very well. They hide their looks. The way they attack, their strategy. Thank God for modern civilization. You can be in church and somebody is monitoring you. WhatsApp is on. Phone is silent. You're sitting in row three, close to choir. Are you here on the that? Check the cloth she's wearing. What's, what is the color of the cloth? The WhatsApp is wearing yellow. Before you know what's happening, they say, okay, we have known the person. No, there are two people wearing yellow there. I said the short one. <laughs> My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Hear me? Every form of ignorance can destroy. The enemy hides their plan and they launch attack to you. And the other is the evil you don't recognize. You cannot be able to fight. And that's why they do everything possible to hide the identity. When someone is hiding his identity, it's just to make sure that he does not get discovered. Because if he's discovered, it will be dangerous. But I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Scripture says, He, <laughs> the Spirit of God, searcheth all things, yea. The deep things of God. In another place, Paul said, What insoever be it, the Lord Himself shall reveal it. The Lord Himself shall reveal it. When your enemy masks himself, it makes you fight the wrong person. Yes. Some of the arrows they throw at you. It, <laughs> You keep wondering, where is this thing coming from? That's why if you are not filled with the Holy Ghost, I pity you. I don't know when you will grow up. Scripture says, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto man, but he uttereth mysteries with his spirit. I like the way Dr. Paul Lenenche explains it. That word, utter, means to send back. You send back the thing to the person. Whatever he wants you to wear, whatever affliction he wants to come upon you, you send it back. 
That's why I say, I will pray in my understanding. I will also pray in the spirit. I will pray with my understanding. I will also pray in the spirit. When we know not what we ought to pray, the spirit helps our infirmity by making intercession for us. He knows who is doing you. So he goes to hit them. But anyone doing you, today they are in trouble. Anyone submitting your name to covenant powers, today the God of Oyeripo will disgrace them. Any unfriendly friend monitoring and submitting your name to evil powers, I decree God's vengeance will hit them today. Whoever steps in to LFC in Lafia, using WhatsApp to be sending messages against you, I decree vengeance of disaster. I decree vengeance of disaster. Any man or woman hiding their identity, undoing you regularly, I decree let the heaven be like brass for them. Let the earth burn like oven for them. The arrow they designed for you, let it go for their family. Let it go for their family. David said, since he loves wickedness, let him drink wickedness. Since they love wickedness. What gives me assurance, scripture says, God is angry with the wicked every day. Not some days. Every day. And I want you to hear this. Every dream attack you have suffered, it will be uncovered now. And whoever sponsored the attack for you, my prayer for you that November will not end without vengeance depositing on their body. Before November 20, October 2017 is over, let the vengeance of God deposit on their body. Whoever has been attacking you through dream, puncturing your blessing, destroying your expectation, today, between now and the end of October 2017, let visible vengeance catch up with them in the name of Jesus. Let speedy vengeance descend upon their house in the name of Jesus. Any man that vow not to let you rest, hiding their own identity, but sponsoring attack for you from different quarters, I invoke the power behind this altar to strike them with vengeance in the name of Jesus. They vow to see you in tears. I make a prophecy on this altar. Sorrow will not depart from their camp. Weeping will not depart from their camp. If you are saying them and say better amen. Let the God of liberation, even the God of Oyedepo, rise up against them in the name of Jesus. Let the God of liberation, even the God of Oyedepo, fight them to their grave in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray. Enough is enough. They attack you with food. They attack you with sex. Marine altars. Marine programming. Sending evil people to send arrow to you. Puncturing your blessing, your marriage. Scattering your business. Sending serpents to swallow money from your hand. All manner of evil. Sending dog to bite you. I say it is coming to an end. Rise up to your feet everybody. It's time to roll back. Studio put the first prayer. Oh God arise for me. And expose every evil. Every enemy. Hiding their identity to attack me. Lord expose them to shame. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray from the depths of your hearts. 
Lero shikuke.